Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Guys, the tag team scene in WWE right now is so impressive. And these two tandems are a lot of the reason why. Every WWE competitor oh. is spectacular to watch. But when The Undertaker competes, it's an event. Well, he's got the most awe-inspiring entrance in WWE history and has the in-ring dominance to back it up. Look, Triple H is on the attack now. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss sideboard. After a swan time bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down, and the third fall was ruled a double countout. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques, like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. This is what makes him one of the Ooh. best in the business. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Oh, my. Shawn Michaels is in position. He's a spinning ball of energy. His partner's looking to get back in this thing. Caught his breath a bit. Now he's ready to go again. Uh-oh. His partner wants back in. He breaks it. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm with you, Cole. So unbelievable that he broke out of that. Just carrying the opposition here. But you can't carry your opponent all day. You got to make a move eventually. HBK not in a great way here. Oh. He may have to start reevaluating his game plan. 
It's no secret that quick tags lead to success in the tag team division. And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here, the he goes for the cover. And Michaels kicks out. Not yet. Too early. His partner's looking to get back in this thing. Caught his breath a bit. Now he's ready to go again. His partner's calling for the tag. Yeah, he's not done yet. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. Now we have Kane on the attack. The Undertaker is tagged in. His partner wants back in this match, guys. He looks rested and ready to go to me. His partner wants back in. Yeah, but what you want and what you get are often two very different things. When this guy's on, look out. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Looks like he wants back in this match. That certainly looks to be the case, Michael. His partner's looking to get back in this thing. Caught his breath a bit, now he's ready to go again. His partner wants back in this match, guys. He looks rested and ready to go to me. His partner wants back in. Yeah, but what you want and what you get are often two very different things. The Undertaker is not someone to sleep on. The human body can only absorb so much of that. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bachwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the HP. The sharpshooter cinched in. He's in complete control now. Oh man, the Undertaker's in trouble now. He forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, the New Day, the Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus. I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner walk up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, they tri Triple H looking to finish down like being manhandled by a bear. Can he end it here? Triple H looking to end it. In a standard tag team match, pedigree. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? His shoulders are down. And he's able to get out. Taker kicks out. The spirit of the Undertaker will not die. Whoa, the Undertaker dodged that one. Well, folks, massive choke slam. Can he finish him off here? That'll readjust your spine. If I was Triple H, I'd tone down the showboating a little bit. Triple H is on fire, letting everyone know how he feels. In WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Try working with Saxton at ringside. 
He's so close to making it. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. He's got his eyes set on his chest. Triple H showing a lot of heart here. But how can he turn this around in his favor? His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. If I'm his partner, I'm furious right now. There's no reason why he shouldn't have made a tag match. He's looked great up until now, and it's imperative that he doesn't lose focus and let his opponent back into this match. Picture perfect drop kick. Over the years, we've come to expect these bursts of greatness from him. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. Oh, he's got him here. He's got a sidewalk slam with authority. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. What a match this has been, guys, and it's starting to look like these superstars are beginning to feel the effects. The game's starting to look beaten here. Once this thing turns around here, this tag team match is all but over. He's running on fumes right now. Coke slam straight to hell. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. Looking for all the glory here. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? Close call. Oh my goodness, crushing it. Oh boy, he is rolling. What does the calloused heart of the Undertaker have in mind? The Undertaker gets the tag. A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for, the win. Triple H looking to end it. Wow, we might just be witnessing the end of The Undertaker. He thinks he has it. One, two, three. They did it. They won the match. I can't remember a tag team match in recent memory that was even close to as good as that one was. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. Wow. I haven't seen a match like that in a long time. I might go home and watch a replay. It was that good. Here are your winners. The Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, in the game, Triple H. Triple H with the finishing touches on this one. It's performances like the one we just saw from these guys that makes tag team wrestling so exciting. And it'll be interesting to see the ripple effects this win has in the weeks to come.